It's like your everyday shop. Shelves packed with snacks, sunscreen, swimming goggles. But here, all hands on deck is literally the case. It's called an aquapod, and it offers everything needed for a summer day on the water in Dubai. So the big idea behind the aquapod is to bridge the gap between the onshore living, which is the living on mainland, and the offshore living, and to have a self-sustained or a sustainable community out at sea. For four years, Ahmed Youssef has been building floating pods that can provide all kinds of services. This supermarket can serve customers that float through and hop aboard. Or it can deliver through an app, specially designed for customers at sea. The application itself is also customized for the marine environment and therefore the kind of address it intakes from the customer is um, their boat name, their boat number, and this is how we can find them easily at sea and fulfill the orders. Ahmed is a serial entrepreneur. He also launched a burger joint and a lounge that expands. The Aquapod lounge is expanding, which gives it 25% more space to its interior. And as you can see, now the sofas are actually stepping out of the Aquapod. When floating offshore, the pods must work off-grid. And that means on the roof, solar panels. Below deck, desalination tanks produce fresh water. And overboard, a container collects floating trash from the sea. It's also safeguarding the environment, and that's what makes the aquapod a development that is completely different from a normal boat or a marine craft. According to the company, the aquapod supermarket serves up to 50 different boats on peak days. For groceries, Ahmed's sustainable pods are quite an attraction, and he has bigger plans. From floating homes to sports centers and entire mobile communities. He might have a reason. With a quarter of a billion in the world vulnerable to rising sea levels, self-sufficient seafaring structures could help. Getting your power sources from the sea, getting direct access to abundant water source from, from the sea, these are all very important aspects to cities that are looking to always have the capacity to find different alternatives and solutions to adapt to the ever-changing economy, environment and, uh, and developments. In the meantime, Ahmed keeps afloat and is now fishing for new customers in fresh waters. Anna Stewart, CNN.